what have you taught your kids around trusting information, who to trust online, so that they can make heads or tails of what is this reality around us? It's such an important issue right now because they're just inundated with information and things that are news or aren't news or different biased news sources because every news source does have a bias. Every person has mindsets and biases. And so first of all, teaching our kids what that means and that it exists and that we're all going to view the world in a certain way based on how we grew up, where we grew up, what our parents were like, our race, our religion, our class, you know, everything. All of those things play a role in how we're going to view the world. And when I in my early years at the agency, I was working on foreign media analysis. And we always looked at sources and had a description of, you know, what way they were leaning and what their bias was. And the same goes for American media as well. And that's something we start teaching our kids because we want them to understand that. And there are so many different ways we can show our kids and illustrate this point. We can, you know, pull up certain news stories or certain news sources and say, look, these stations are covering this topic. You you know, this channel over here is covering something else entirely. Why do you think that is? Or comparing the headlines and how they, you know, there are all these exercises you can go into with your kids to help them start to identify. And when you really know that you've done it well is when like your high schooler comes home and tells you that like their teacher was teaching about whatever, fill in the blank issue. And they're able to recognize that their teacher wasn't teaching fact, their teacher was teaching their opinion, which obviously is a whole other <laughs> issue. But that happens. That happens. Happens and and even teachers can sometimes you know become political one way or the other and and you know make a mistake and share their own opinion. I mean, I think that the best teachers are the ones who we have no idea what their personal beliefs are because they're so great at teaching objectively and sharing all the sides so that people can make their own opinions. But that doesn't always happen. And so we want to make sure our kids know that because what we don't want is them just coming out of a class parroting whatever their teacher told them they should believe, right? We want them to be able to make their own decisions and think critically. And so that comes with you know, learning about these different mindsets and biases that even they themselves will already have because they're formed you know, so early in our lives. But being aware of them, I think, is the most important thing. It's such a great point. I think for many of us, we look up to teachers, especially from a young age, and view them as infallible and view them as seeking and telling the truth. And oftentimes we're all human. We, we can't get around our own biases and in the way we cover information, teach it to our kids. Uh, and certainly in some of the classes I look back on in my own education, I now view it differently, realizing that there were political leanings influencing the way those subjects are being taught. Mm -hmm. 